Good morning, Audemars Anchors, and welcome to WAES Morning News Show. Please stop and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stop and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Your armor anchor weather for today is partly cloudy with a high of 94 degrees and a 10% chance of precipitation. Your PBIS thought of the day is, healing takes courage, and we all have courage, even if we have to dig a little to find it. Tori Amos. Remember, Ardmore Anchors, resilient Ardmore Scholars are anchored to always be ready, be respectful, be responsible, and be an example. It is time for the Ardmore Anchor Word of the Day. Predicament is a noun meaning an unpleasantly difficult, perplexing, or dangerous situation. The sentence, because I do not want to end up in a financial predicament, I pay my bills regularly. Predicament, your Ardmore Anchor Word of the Day. Now for Ardmore's Asian Pacific Islanders History Moment. Beginning in 1975, a group of refugees from Southeast Asia began to be resettled in the United States. These refugees are Hmong people. Refugees are people who must leave their home country because of fear for their safety from violence or persecution. The United States is home to many refugees from all around the world. And the Hmong refugees are part of the refugee population in the U.S., Originally, the Hmong lived in China, but many Hmong people left China and settled in Laos long ago. Laos is a small country in between Thailand and Vietnam. It is known for its rainforest, rice agriculture, and Buddhist monasteries. After the communists gained power in Laos, many Hmong were persecuted in the mid-1970s. Most Hmong fled to neighboring countries for safety, especially Thailand. Other countries, like Germany and Australia, also accepted Hmong refugees. The Hmong have faced challenges for many years now. Still, they are continuing their cultural practices and traditions all around the world. The Hmong people are Asian Pacific Islanders History Moment. Your announcements for today are as follows. Today is Tuesday, May 31st, 2022, and there are 60 more days left in the school year. You just please check your mailboxes and emails for important information from Principal Herring and other school leaders. Specialists and teachers, please be on your duty post on time each day in the a.m. and p.m. Staff, please remember to send a note or call the nurse's office with details before sending students to the health room. Teachers, please let the office staff know the dates for your end-of-the-year events so they may mark the main calendar. Attention to our family, you have another chance to buy a yearbook as we have 39 books left. Complete the order form on Ardmore's website and other digital platforms. And remember, first come, first serve while supplies last. Staff and students, please be wise and bring and wear your mask each day over your nose. Attention staff and students, it is important that you remember to keep all exterior doors closed at all times. And do not open any doors for anyone. Persons must enter the building by being buzzed in through the main entrance by the main office staff. Students and staff, please shut down your devices and plug them up daily so they may rest, recharge, and receive weekly IT updates. And take home your digital devices daily in case school is virtual due to inclement weather. Attention fifth graders, Ernest Everett Just Middle School is hosting a stepping up night for incoming sixth graders, Wednesday, June 1st, 2022 at 6 p.m. Use the link on the flyer posted on your Google Classroom to register for the Zoom link. Those are all of your announcements. Good morning, Ardmore family. Welcome to Ardmore's Mindfulness Moment. Please raise your right hand and let's recite our school pledge. A one, two, a one, two, three. I pledge today to do my best in reading math and all the rest. I promise to obey the rules in my class and in the school. I'll respect myself and others too. I'll expect the best in all I do. I am here to learn all I can, to try my best to be all I am, to try my best to be all I am. Word. Tune in next time for our news on WAES. WAES is signing off. Everyone have a great, great day.